Welcome back, everyone. Wow. What is this? What do we see? 1579 rated plus 15. Who did we beat? Well, let's get to that in a moment. First off, the anniversary season. Looks like we're finishing 12th. We are in 10th place. Bokken Geographer, Aldidas, Geo Andrew. I think they all set incredible weeks. Overtaking us by, uh, by just a few points. But they... Uh, well, they did overtake us in the end, so uh, very well played to them. But Jake Lyons, Soledad, they are, uh, they're going to pass us as well. So we're going to finish 12th, unless I get those two games back. But it's a Sunday, I doubt that the devs are, uh, are going to be giving those two games back. Again, they did give me the rating back, I think on Wednesday, the ELO for both of the games against Cheaters, but I haven't received the games. I don't know what's going on there, because I explicitly did ask for it. But um, yeah, that's that. Week number six, ruined the entire season. I don't think I'm going to play uh, any more seasons as long as I'm doing the road to rank one because it's just uh, butchering the rating. But speaking of the rating, what happened? All right, we were all the way down to 1428. And what did I do? I spent four days or so playing way too many Jules games. I um, kept playing, kept playing. I think I lost against like six cheaters, got all that elo back but i also lost about six normal games of which two today that cost me a 60 rating it took me an absolute absolutely long time to get all of that back but what just happened plus 15 i was trying to get back to 1570 my personal best and start the new episode from there but at 1564 we ran into the one and only someone who beat me on uh, on twitch live on stream we came up against Bastel. All right, what happened in that game? Um, well, Poland round, super hilly, always goes south. Basic Belgium, yellow plates in Sydney along with the bins. Very Bogota feeling rounds. I even found a, uh, a bus that said Kahika, but I didn't know that it was uh, there. Then we had a bin that says Ayalik, uh, Ayvalik, and uh, I just so happened to know where that was, zooming in far enough. Then we had a boat trekker, Greenland. Then we had a uh, another trekker. I thought it was the one near the uh, Baobab Avenue, but well, it wasn't. It was further down. And then we had a uh, very, very open Townsville round. All right, what happened in this round? We spawned on a uh, very, very big intersection, but look at the mountains. Instantly, I said, this is North Queensland to myself. I looked at the plates, didn't see any yellow plates either. Well, it, this isn't Western Australia. This isn't Melbourne and this isn't well New South Wales then so I instantly thought all right Cairns or Townsville or Mackay something up there and I moved along this road and what did we find we did find a sign it said Ingham Ingham airport that is a uh, an airport that I've had about five times on this game and I luckily remembered it this time that it was near Townsville so I sent Townsville about I think after 30 seconds or so and we were in Townsville and I think Bastel sent s Brisbane yeah Brisbane of course three times multipliers that's going to be enough w very well played to Bastel but that means that we have uh, surpassed our personal best by nine points and we're actually starting way higher than we uh, than we even ended on last time we ended on 1562 I mean, it's going very well. I didn't even show the leaderboard. We are seventh in the world at the moment. This is uh, this is the highest I've ever been ranked. I think I'm going to keep this episode a bit shorter because I have been playing way too much lately. And um, yeah, I cannot I cannot take any more. I cannot play this for uh, five hours in a row every single day. So let's uh, so let's just have a few nice duels, shall we? Let's try to. Uh, so I have some good rounds. All right, starting off in Denmark. Skanderborg on the 170. I feel like the ones are out here. I'm always uh, mistaken. Skanderborg is probably very big. That's, uh, yeah, that the ones are all over the country. I think it's twos, then more twos, threes, fours, and fives. But the ones are all over the country. I keep forgetting that, but they are. All right, speaking of trekkers, more trekkers. I've had way too many trekkers. Welcome in Rotterdam. All right. This did not look like the Netherlands to me, but that says enough. I mean, if they pan around and see Rotterdam, then surely. 
Why did why does this not look like the Netherlands? I I thought this was going to be like Mexico or something. I'm going to be perfectly honest. All right, they see the sign as well. No points there. This has been a very very eventful week regarding the uh, the jewels. That is, it's been uh, it's been well a free fall down to fourteen twenty eight rating, and then uh, luckily we're doing a bit better now. All right, we should be in Argentina, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Buenas, Buenas. Wait, are you Mexico? Wait, 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 wait. We're in Argentina, right? Okay, I may have messed up. Okay, no, I didn't mess up. Whoa, okay, only 2,500 points. They sent Chile. If, if it did turn out to be Argentina, that would have been a pretty pretty tough take because it would have been around that area, I think. I, I'm Yeah, I was talking way too much at the start of that round to actually uh, realize what was going on there. I saw the plates. La Roche en Ardennes. I keep forgetting where the Ardennes are. I think they're down here. La Roche. I think the Ardennes are down here. There it is. Why? I just... That's so annoying. I plonked. I, I hit the space bar as soon as I saw the place name. Instead of clicking my mouse. All right, no big points though. Belgium. Not going to be anything too crazy. Round number five. Are we in Guam? I've had a lot of uh, Guam and NMI rounds today as well, and every single time we couldn't see the roof rack, and then when it moved about 500 meters, we did see the roof rack. So that meant that it was Guam, although this does feel like NMI to me. This does feel like NMI to me. So let's go NMI. Let's go uh, on the west coast, because we are on a west coast. I feel like Guam is slightly has slightly more poorer roads, bit worse road quality and such. And that's the second time that someone sends uh, Puerto Rico on NMI today against me. I'll take it. It's going to be another point fifteen eighty. I'm uh, wow. This is going very very well. I was going to say even if we lose a game now, we're going to be down to like fifteen fifty, which isn't even bad, but. Let's not even think of losing, shall we? We come up against the same opponent, Red Kev. Let's let's keep building on this. This is uh, this is absolutely amazing. Red Kev, back-to-back -back games. We are going to be in Russia. Generation 4, you're not going to find that in Ukraine. I learned that the hard way. And my tactic for Russia is always look at the car first, then at the steering wheels, because I see a lot of steering wheels on the right now, which means we are probably going to be east of Perm. I noticed that Perm is kind of the, uh, is it, can I call it like a, uh, it's, well, turning point is not really the uh, correct word, the hinge neither, but let's call it the turning point of uh, where steering wheels start to become more and more so on the right side of the car. So I think this is going to be like Irkutsk. Then again, these, uh, these half urban rounds are very, very difficult in Russia. Because, I mean, I had back-to-back Krasnoyarsk -back rounds. And the first time we were in the city and it, it looked absolutely gorgeous. And then we were in a suburb here, Leninsky. And it looked like, uh, well, Sakhalinsk almost. It was Novosibirsk. All right. It is east of Perm. I noticed that y Yekaterinburg has like 10% steering wheels on the right. And then the further you go, the, the more it gets. And I probably sent way too, uh, way too east there, which I did. Because I think it was about 50-50. So that did make more sense for Novosibirsk, Krasno, Yarsk. All right, let's stop talking. Let's uh, focus on the round because we are going to be in Peru. But I have no idea where. Initially with these uh, those tuk-tuk thingies, I always think north. But you can get them near the lake as well, I think. Hmm. Chiclayo. Okay. That was, well, Chiclayo was my first, first thought. Let's actually hope it is Chiclayo. Good. 
that mural, uh, well, giving us 3,100 points there. Very understandable guess. Um, I feel that the near the lake, it's a bit less dry. It's not as, well, it is dry, but it's, it's not as sandy. I don't know how to explain it. It's, uh, it's not easy. All right, those are Illinois plates, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just check another car, make sure it's, yeah, that could be uh, like Wisconsin or something. I think they're Illinois plates. Uh, shouldn't be Connecticut, at least. They look kind of similar with the blue strip. Let's, let's send near Chicago. This uh, no passing zone sign also very commonly in this area of the United States, I've noticed. It was Minneapolis. I'm very... Why can I not distinguish? I thought that the Minneapolis uh, plates looked like Lesotho, the Lesotho flag. But every single time I keep sending Illinois on on that. All right, no car, yellow plates. We are going to be in uh, VNTN. Don't even know why I'm still looking around. I am uh, giving my opponent the opportunity to uh, figure the round out. All right, I think they're going to get this as well. Yellow plates, very limited amount of countries that have those. All right, into the multipliers. First bit of damage we've taken, five damage. Let's keep the, uh, let's stay in smaller countries. I think we're going to be in Denmark here, although we have double yellows, uh, double whites. It is Denmark. Let's keep the, uh, let's not get Russia's and uh, USA's right now because, wow, uh, by the way, the speaking of big countries that I uh, lose on, I uh, I lost three games today and yesterday on Mexico. I, for the life of me, couldn't find Villa Hermosa and it was the mo the absolute biggest place in Tabasco. And then I, uh, someone sent Guadalajara on a super, super dry round and it was well, it was more in that side of the country. They sent uh, Guadalajara and it was like Sinaloa, Nayarit. That was enough on uh, five times damage. Yeah, Mexico is not my, uh, even though I know the phone, I know the phone codes, but I feel like the phone codes are misplaced very often because that, um, that Nayarit round had, well, 314 and starting with three, that's going to be uh, that west part of Mexico. But the majority of phone codes were twos, and twos are always in Veracruz. Unless two is also a general phone code. Right, we are, uh, I don't know why I'm driving around. This doesn't feel like Caballeros. Luckily, this in Caballeros is going to be a uh, 4800 or something. Yeah, 738. Two and a half times damage. Let's get a, I think this is Sweden, which wouldn't be bad if we have bus stops. No, wait, it is Sweden. Okay. For a moment when I turned around, I thought it was Russia. Gatan, we are on Sweden. Feels a bit more northern, but Sweden is quite hard to region guess sometimes. This feels like, I think Sundsvall is much hillier. But I, can I even send all the way in Umea or Pitea here? Umeo, I think it might even be pronounced. All right, any bus stops? I haven't, I've... I've had so many Sweden rounds now without any sign of a bus stop. And every time that we do get a bus stop, it's like a city specific one that I haven't learned. I have learned a few city, sp city sp specific ones, but there are quite a few that I don't know. Um, Norbottens Museum. Okay, well then we are gonna be in like Lulea. If this isn't Norbotten, then... Uh... All right, big. That is game, great guess. Um, I didn't send Piteo because I felt like there you would have seen bus stops. Because those I have very, very often seen. The yellow ones that are rounded at the top. Alright, three times against Red Kev. I'm not actively sniping Red Kev, just to, be, uh, just to be clear. But I don't mind coming up against him if that means that we keep winning. Czechia, Kunratis, Praha 4. I'm not even going to look at the, the rest of the round. I'm going to trust that blindly, which is something that I uh, that I actually should stop doing. Flashback to the uh, to the Hong Kong round. I think I had it quite recently as well once. 
where I read something. Well, it was a it was actually a tricker. I think it was a uh, it was a Hong Kong tricker. And it said Tokyo, Japan. So I sent Tokyo and they went in like Shanghai. Cost me 2k points. But yeah, tough. Imagine not being able to distinguish Mandarin from uh, from Jap Japanese. Although you have quite a few. Uh, Japanese can be quite difficult as well. Santander and Gijon on the 66, 64 and 8. So we are in Oviedo. What helps a lot is, uh, well, if you've been to certain locations in real life, I haven't been to Santander. Um, I think we drove to Bilbao and then we went down and through Burgos all the way to uh, Madrid, Sevilla into Portugal. But of course that was uh, kind of on our schedule at first. So being a bit familiar with those places, that does help. Or just playing Jugas are a lot, that helps as well. Okay, we are in Japan. We have some plates that I do not know. They're not Tokyo plates, they're not Kyushu plates. Probably just gonna be Nagoya, Osaka. I think I kinda wanna send Osaka here. Um, yeah. As long as it's just not north. Something crazy. It was Osaka. They get a good guess as well. Okayama. Only taking 400 damage. Right, Red Kev, really not a bad player. Almost uh, 1,000 rated. They are putting up a good fight. Alright, we're along the mountain ridge in Argentina. This time, I'm pretty sure it is Argentina. Let's see if we can find some... Uh, I've learned a few street signs. I don't think I actually know the Mendoza ones. This does kind of feel like Mendoza region. Let me just... Uh, yeah, I don't want to be stupid and... Send all the way near Mendoza if it... Is maybe like... I don't think they're Cordoba Hills. Could be more northern, but let's try Mendoza. Alright, nice, nice guess from them. San Juan. I think they actually found a road that lined up. And that gives them a good guess as well. Next up, Lithuania, if I'm not mistaken. Lithuanian Ballards, it all checks out. Let's send. Middle. Kaunas, 12. Okay, we are going to be quite close. Bit of damage, 500 or so, 440. Let's keep this up. Let's, uh, again, let's not get any big countries unless they are obvious to me. Luxembourg, okay. Well, that's not exactly what I'm hoping for either. I'm hoping for, uh, what am I hoping for? I'm hoping for very, very, very specific rounds that for some reason I know. Like a, uh, like a South Korea tricker that I had yesterday or a, uh, something else. Speaking of trickers, here we go. That's his pun job. Wait. Wait, where does Punjab get this hilly? Please don't be some uh, some weird aff affiliate. It's, it's I mean it says Punjab every, everywhere. Was that Hindi as well? I mean it says Punjab everywhere. I have to do it. Um, because the movement here is absolutely awful, and since it does say Punjab everywhere, I gotta trust it. Don't be some something weird. Why? Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't feel like India, which is why I kind of wanted to send Pakistan, but... Okay, interesting. Next up, I hate these rounds because the architecture is so Lesotho, but why does it not feel like... This is Eswatini, right? Call me crazy, but it might have to hedge. 
Why is the architecture so Lesotho? This is this. Bro's gonna get the wrong country. He's gonna lose on as well Lesotho. Okay, or he five Ks. Thirty three hundred. Very nice. Trust the architecture. Always trust the architecture. The entire landscape felt so as with to me, but the architecture just the bricks that was. Uh, Lesotho every single day. Please don't be Russia. You have to be kidding me. You are kidding me. We are in Russia. Please, internet. All right, so one steering wheel on the left. Let's keep count, shall we? This can so easily be game. In his favor, that is. Two steering wheels on the left. Three steering wheels on the left. These rounds are awful. I feel like... I feel like this is like Nizhny Kazan, somewhere there. I do not like it. I do not like it. Let's actually put a marker down. I really hope he doesn't insta-send something and uh, gets lucky. That is m maybe the best game that he can play right now. All the steering wheels are on the left. I might just have to hedge somewhere. Levinka Kurkino. Kurkino. No clue where that is. I need a better sign. But yeah, this does just, it's not too hilly. All the steering wheels are on the, uh, yeah, they're all on the left. Let's head back to the checkpoint and go the other way. Let's actually plonk somewhere there. I feel like it is somewhere there. Kursk, no, it's not Kursk. It's Kursk, Kur, Kurkino, I think it was. I would very much like if there was a sign this way that said like Moscow 200 kilometers north something like it or Kazan 20 kilometers to the east something simple something that I uh, can use well this is gonna be uh, this might be a long round I'm very sorry but this is these half urban Russia rounds are my kryptonite. I always lose on Russia or Mexico. Let's not forget Mexico. I mean, every single steering wheel is on the left, and this doesn't feel like uh, this doesn't really feel south to me. So I think the general area should be uh, should be right. It is starting to get a bit more hilly. And yet I have not found any... Not found any other sign, even a road number. Bistro... Cucho Nedorogo. Well, if you're still watching this round, why not just uh, skip forward about 15 minutes and then you're going to find out whether I win or lose this game. Because this is... I really don't want to lose here. Because that will be 30 points down the drain on another rural Russia. And I don't want to cut the video because... Uh, well, one time and two... That doesn't look good. Well, there's been uh, no sign this way. Tovarkovo. Tovarkovo. That's going to be absolutely not findable. 
Can I move? What's going on? Don't do this. Thanks. What is going on? Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? Is that yeah, this game? Okay. Whoa. Why are they? Uh, okay. They did send Kursk. Why is it not showing up? It said Tovarkovo. Oh, yeah, we were there. Tovarkovo. Why am I still not finding uh, that place with the. It wasn't Kiryevsky. What was it called? Which direction was it again? I think it was south. Why am I not finding that place? All right. There it is, Kurkino. That's. It looks very small for a place to be on a sign. Like that. Why was. Well, Novo Moskovsk, I think it was on the sign at the end there. Well, um, 1582. 1582, didn't we go to 1583? Okay, we didn't. I think I'm going to call it there. 1582, we've been recording for 26 minutes. Shorter episode, why not?